Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for you too. Today I'm going to be doing purple hull peas. So let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need. First, we're going to talk about these peas, okay? Now, this looks like black eyed peas. So what's the difference? The difference in the purple hull and the black eyed peas is this is a smoother peas going down and this is tastier, especially if you add some okra to it, which is what I might do if you don't like okra, it doesn't make any difference. But I'm going to tell you how to make these peas so, so delicious. And here are the ingredients that you're going to need. When you're cooking any type of southern food, especially if it's going to be beans or greens, nothing can flavor them like your smoked meats. Now, I went into my freezer and this is what I pulled out. We got a ham bone, and you know ham bone is the best seasoning in the world. So if you have a ham, ham for Christmas or for Easter or for Thanksgiving, any special occasions, or if you just cook one in your everyday cooking, save that bone. Because when it comes to cooking any type of boiled food, beans and greens, you can't beat that ham bone. Now, smoked meat will give you all the seasonings that you need. Here we have, it's a little bit of frost on it because these are ham hocks from my freezer. Here we have some ham hocks and we have some smoked neck bones, which I'm going to cut up and make just a little bit smaller. And we're going to throw those in the pot. Now, you don't need any other seasoning when you're using smoked meats. You really, really don't. If you choose it, go ahead and do that. But smoked meats will bring in all the flavor that you need. Next, we're just going to throw in a little bit of butter. And the only reason why we're going to do that, this is not, uh, this is very optional. The only reason why I'm going to do it is because I'm used to cooking my peas and my beans with a little bit of butter because I think it gives it more flavor. You don't have to feel the same way that I do. But if you want, you can throw in like a fourth of a stick of butter. Now, I'm going to add to that. All you need is onion powder and garlic powder. You don't need any other seasoning. Onion powder and garlic powder will do the trick. Now, I'm going to add to that some onion, okay? And I'm just going to chop those up. So these two things are actually optional. You really don't need them. To give you the flavor that you want for uh, the beans or peas or greens that you're going to be cooking, this is really all that you need. Now, the one thing that I don't do is I don't add salt until the very end. Why is that? Because salt will split your peas or your beans. I have learned that in my cooking, and I've been cooking, what, 45, 50 years? That's a long time. But salt, I've always found that salt will split it. So to avoid that, just add your salt at the very end. Now, you do pick up a little bit of salt from uh, your smoked meats, but it's not enough to change the uh, texture of what you're going, what your end product is going to be. So it will not, what I'm actually saying is that it will not split your bean or your peas. So I'm going to go away and get myself all together. But the difference is I'm going to be cooking this in my crock pot. Yes, because all I have to do is put everything in, wait about three and a half to four hours and this is going to be ready, and that's very low maintenance. You really don't have to do anything. No way you're going to mess this up, because I just told you, all you need to do is have some smoked meat, some ham bone if you have it, throw these peas in the pot, and go ahead and cook them with some onion and some garlic powder, and throw in a little bit of butter and onion if you want to. Then at the very end, you can add your salt. So what I'm going to do is wash my meats off, get them ready for my pot, I'll bring you back. We're going to put everything at one time, and then I'll see you at the end of this video. Be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I'm ready to put everything into my slow cooker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ham hocks in first, and I'm going to put in my ham bone. Now to that, I'm going to go ahead and add my smoked meats. I told you I was going to cut up my um, my smoked neck bones, which is exactly what I did. Now, once I get that in, 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter, my garlic powder, and my onion powder. To that, I'm gonna add in my onions. Now, why did I do it this way? I did it this way because I want all of the flavor, all of the flavor that's going to come from these juices, juices, I want it to filter my peas. Now, these peas are very small, so what they're going to do is they're going to fall all down into the juices. And when they fall or when the steam from the actual peas hit, let me get that. That's a little, that's nothing but a little stem, but I've taken it out. Okay. Now, when it falls down or when the steam actually rises, the steam is going to rise with flavor. So when it does that, that flavor is going to hit these peas and they're going to be very, very good. Now I'm going to add water. How much water am I actually adding? You're supposed to add two inches. If you're cooking on a regular stove, you can add two inches higher than your last ingredient. So if my grass, last ingredient is peas, then I would add two inches higher than my actual peas fall. Because this is a slow cooker, I'm just gonna continue to add more water. Now, these are the ham bits that I have, okay? This was in with my ham bone. I normally just cut it off the bone and leave it in there so it can help the flavor too. It's going to help the flavor, but I don't need to cook that because it's really already cooked. So all I want is just a flavor from that. Now that everything is in my pot, I'm going to put the top on it. I have this on high. I'm going to allow it to just cook until for about three and a half hours. Three and a half hours, this really should be done. It shouldn't have to go to four or six. I'm going to let it cook. If it depletes in water, then I'm going to go back and add just a little bit more water. If you notice, I did not put any salt in there because I'll bring the salt in at the very end. I haven't decided whether or not I want to add okra. If I do the last 30 minutes of cooking, I will bring it back and I will add the okra to this. Okra is optional. So is the butter and so is one other ingredient that I had uh, over there. Those are our optional ingredients and I'll have that listed in the uh, instructions for the recipe when I post it at the bottom. But whatever is optional, you don't have to use it. Everything else goes in the pot. Now this is very low maintenance. It took me about five minutes, 10 minutes to get everything together, five minutes to get the pot assembled. And after that, it's straight cooking. So I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. And at that time, I'll decide whether or not I want to do the okra. Be right back. Okay, my water level is about the same. Everything is cooking real, real good. It's at this point because I decided that I'm going to go ahead and add some okra. That I'm going to put in a small pack of okra. Now, if you had something else that you wanted to put in here like you want to kick it up a little bit you want to add some jalapeno pepper or some crushed red then you can go ahead and put it in at this point i'm not going to do that because you know my food has to be kid friendly so i'm gonna allow this to continue to cook and once it's ready i'll bring it back be right back okay now i'm back and the video is done here is my purple hull peas as you can see there's meat all the way through it I did put the okra in there, and you got the smoked meat and the ham hocks. Everything is done, and I got a ham bone down in there somewhere. Okay, so that's what Chris is cooking today. She's making purple hull peas. Try this recipe. I truly think that you're going to enjoy it. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris Cook for you, too. Bye. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Chris Cook for YouTube. And don't forget to share this video. Bye.